Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Bernie and in today's video, I will be showing you how I make my thumbnail using Final Cut Pro 10, but this time around using the mask tool. Let's go! Alright guys, now I'm on my M1 MacBook Air and I'm gonna double click the 5 terabyte portable hard drive. And as you can see here, this is Burn Hippo YT channel. And I'm going to create a new folder. And we'll put this how to make a thumbnail using the mask tool. So that's the number one thing you do before you even open Final Cut Pro 10 is to make a folder so that we will put everything in there, all our assets or all the things that we need for this tutorial. So now that we have our folder, now let's go and open Final Cut Pro 10. And as you can see right now, guys, it opened my previous uh, project. So right now, what I'm going to do is to just go to Final Cut Pro, right? File, new library so every time i make a new video there's always a new library for me to be able to organize all of my clips and a lot of stuff in one library so it's organized and i won't miss anything so right now we're gonna click on the five uh, terabyte portable hard drive because i want to add it on an external hard drive as you can see right here and i don't want to edit inside my final cut pros built-in hard drive because it will fill up the space so easily so it's better and it's a good practice for you to be able to edit on a separate hard drive so choose burn hippos yt channel and look for the how to make the mask tool so what i do is i have to save it as the same as my folder name Now that we have it here, you see here, there's a date here. What I do here is I change it to a bin. So put a bin here. Click the arrow and then click the bin right there. And we're going to go back to the finder. I'm going to look for the file. All right. So here I'm going to highlight this one again and highlight the main GH5 folder. The good thing about the folder for the Mac is that it's recognized by Final Cut Pro. So all I have to do is to just drag it and it will be recognized as a keyword, keyword collection. So you don't really have to type a new one anymore. It's easy and straightforward. Next thing that we're gonna do is we will create a new project. We just have to go to the bin right here and then click file and then new, new project. So what we're gonna do right now is to rename this. How to make a thumbnail using the mask. Tool. And here bin, it's inside the, our bin folder, right? So starting time code, it's okay, doesn't matter. Keep it that way. And the video, we will put it to custom. And we will make sure that the resolution is 2560 to 1440. And I want it to be 23.98. Now we'll go to projection type, just make it normal. And moving on to rendering codec, this has to be Apple ProRes 422HQ. HQ meaning high quality, I want it that way. Color space standard Rec 709, it's the same. Audio 48 kilohertz, it doesn't matter because this one doesn't have any audio at all. So click OK. And now we have an empty timeline. So what I'm gonna do actually here is click function arrow to the left and then option W to create a gap. And why did I create a gap? It doesn't really matter actually, but it's just a practice of mine to create a gap for me so that it's gonna be the foundation of our images. So as you can see here, I'm uh, looking for that uh, particular clip where I started uh, posing. All right, so after choosing the in and out points, you just have to press Q for you to be able to put that clip going down to the timeline. Either click hold this one and then drag it down. So I have already chosen a good one. So guys, basically this will be your marker. So leave it like that and then choose edit and add freeze frame. This is what we need, this part. So we're gonna delete both of these ones. So what I did is choose the clip and then hold command and then choose that another clip and then hit delete. And now we have this to work on. We'll just extend this real quick, the gap. And now we're gonna add the mask tool. This one is your effects tab. So click on that 
and then you see here masks and then what we're gonna do is choose the draw mask tool so double click it so now that we have the draw mask tool inside our inspector tab as you can see right here guys nothing changes yet but right now what i'm gonna do is to click on the draw mask tool once again and then i'm gonna hover to the video and as you can see right now you can see the spend tool right here next thing you do is make this like uh, 400 percent as you can see there's this rectangular box right here this is actually for you to be able to move your video because it's too large it can't fit our screen right here so we'll start by drawing a mask and i'm gonna fast forward this right now so now that we're done as you can see here all the red dots huh so what we're gonna do right now is to duplicate this clip by clicking the clip and hitting option and then drag it up you have to hold option while you drag the clip to the top but not only that guys one more time we're gonna do that twice see we have three layers here and this one is the most uh, important one since we will be tweaking this for us to be able to get that wide outline but right now you don't see anything so first is we have to disable our draw mask from this first clip so as you can see it's still highlighted in there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna delete that okay so highlight the draw mask and delete and now we will go back to the one with still the mask right now and for you to be able not to see the control points you just have to click outside the draw mask and you don't see anything next is we have to look at this feather right here this is important because this will be the one who will give the white outline all right so we'll put the value to number 10. click on the draw mask again and next thing is we're gonna go to the color tab show the color inspector and we're here at this exposure tab and all i have to do right now is to drag the master adjustment tool bam see you already have that white outline which is nice right there you go guys looking good already so yeah look at here in the middle if let's say i disable the first clip you can see just the white it's just the feather because we boost up the exposure all the way up that's why you don't see anything at all or any color at all you just see white so next thing is we're going to nest this one or make a compound clip meaning we put all them together in one container so all you have to do is to select all the clips and then control click and there's new compound clip and let's just rename it like this how to make a thumbnail using the mask tool clip and then hit ok so now it's just one clip and guys why did we do this because i just wanted to color correct the image or make it pop a little bit so what we're gonna do is click on this compound clip right here and as you can see you go to the tab right here the inspector tab and click on the color corrections tab and what we're gonna do is to just adjust a little bit of exposure make it more blue by putting the contrast down and boost up the color a little bit number eight all right next is we're going to look for the uh, final cut pro 10 logo so going to five terabyte portable hard drive and look for our main folder and go to graphics we're gonna drag the graphics folder to the bin and as you can see the logo is right there all i have to do right now is to click on the logo itself and then highlight it and then press q and then it will go to our main timeline right here but it's too big so all i have to do right now is to click on it and then resize it so click here to this area to transform and then just drag it like this so let's make this a little bit bigger guys so what I did here is I just uh, enlarge it since everything is inside the compound clip. It's easier to scale everything and I'm good to go right now. And this one, I'm going to scale this one a little bit too. Just keep playing around using the inspector tool. And next thing, I just want to add some text to make it pop 
a little bit, all right? Or make it better. Click this letter T here, meaning the text tab. You can search for custom. So here, custom, and then click Q. And make it as the same length as your clips in the bottom. All right, so highlight the text and then go to the custom tab right here. This is the text tab as well. And click on the second tab for you to be able to write down the text that you want. So we'll put draw mask tool. And I'll choose my favorite text, the Avenir next. And then go to heavy italic. This is the one that I want. Make it a little bit bigger. And then go here to outline, show. We'll put a black color and the width 5 is good enough. We can add tutorial in the bottom. So it's a draw mask tool tutorial. So here I just want my text to be closer to each other. So what we're going to do is to select all the texts and then line spacing here. So you can see, yeah, I think that looks good. So guys, next is highlight the text again and then highlight the transform icon right here. And then I'm going to move it a little bit here. Oh, we can make this a little bit bigger actually. Why did I put the Draw Mask Tool Tutorial text here? Because if you're watching YouTube for a long time, on the right side right here, you can actually see the, the link to the video that YouTube puts out for you to see. We don't want to block that, right? All right, I think it looks good. So now next thing is we're going to export it or share it. So for me to be able to do that is to leave the marker in place right here in the middle, preferably. Click the arrow here with the box inside and then save current frame and then go to settings. And then as you can see here, it's TIFF file, but we'll change it to JPEG so it'd be more compatible. And click next. And then look for the hard drive with our file. And we're going to create a new folder. We'll rename it as thumbnail. And create. And then here on top, save as underscore YT and then underscore TN. And we'll wait. Oh, it's done. Wow, so quick. And now we'll look for it. Wow, and guys, there you go. So there you go, guys. That's about it. If you find this video helpful, give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Because we have a lot of great videos coming your way. And it will be very much appreciated. I will see you guys next time. This has been Bernie. Goodbye for now.